Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to discuss failed jobs. So jobs can fail for a couple reasons. Sometimes maybe you make an error. Sometimes you may exceed the time allotted for calculations, which is only 60 minutes. So if we exceed the time allotted, you might notice that your time is pretty close to 60 minutes. Um, if you want to see, you can click the little view job button and it'll show us the structure. I had actually started this calculation with the two hydrogens pointing at each other. And you can see that must not be very stable as the hydrogen's rotating all the way around on this dihydroxybenzene calculation. Now, if we want to continue this calculation, we could do a few things. One, we could click new job using this geometry, because this is the last geometry that was optimized in the routine. So we can just pick up from where we left off. It's probably worth double checking and uh, in terms of where the calculation's at. So we can click new job using this geometry, and then you can see the structure here, click the button to set up your calculation, and then go forward with your job. Now, the one thing to remember, oops, um, the one thing to remember is to choose the same theory and basis set as the original calculation. Now, another option you could do is just click the restart job button here. Now the only reason why I would recommend at least clicking the job first is to look and see what's going on. Get a sense of what the calculation is doing before just clicking the restart job. But you should also just be able to click the restart job button and it just takes you back into the window. I guess you'll see here what the structure looks like as well. So you could use that button to get to a structure that you can continue your calculation with. One last thing I might show you is um, going back to the job manager you can view the output file just to kind of see maybe where the calculation was during its optimization routine. So um, you could also get to this through the view job button. So whether you click the raw output or if you're within the job and then you view the raw output here, it's the same output file. What you might do, well, it's kind of notice that you can see the information about the calculation, some author names, this is just showing what calculation we're doing. You see this is a big basis set, the triple zeta basis set, and you can see our input information. Here's our first optimization, our first point. The convergence criteria questions are asked. If we keep scrolling, we'll see a bunch of no's. So our job's not converged, so it keeps going and tries again. We've got a couple convergence criteria met, uh, and then we keep going, and actually um, they're all optimize, then we continue down, and this job failed actually during the, um, the uh, frequency calculation. So this job failed during the frequency calculation. Now one thing you may notice is that the um, that there's like two jobs really being done. There's a geometry optimization job which finishes, has a little output paragraph. That calculation took 24 minutes. And then the frequency calculation here was ongoing and must have taken, you know, somewhere over 34 minutes. So hopefully, you know, when we restart this job, now granted, you guys aren't going to be using this big of a basis set, but when we restart this job, hopefully that calculation itself, the frequency calculation doesn't take over um, 60 minutes or else it's just going to crash again. Okay, so that's how you can restart a job and do a little bit of diagnosis in terms of where the job was during the optimization um, and frequency calculation. So at least we made it to the frequency calculation, but then we ran out of time. Okay, that's all for this video. Thank you.